I don't understand. I will catch your drift. Don't, don't just tell me that you're deft enough not to know what I'm talking about. Jika, Derek has stopped to me, he has stopped making sexual advances at me. Aha! And you think that's okay? No. No, not completely. I mean, I find it... It's a relief that he doesn't bother me with sex every night that I come back from the time. And... And stuff, but it makes me ponder on the possibility of him cheating on me. Because if he's not getting it from me, he must be getting it some way. Derek, have decided to seek pleasure with your nanny. What? Will you stop it? What's your problem? Stop what? How can Derek sleep with that thing of all the women in the world? Oh, don't be sarcastic, Hilda. You see that thing dangling in between a man's thighs? It knows no class or age. Terry cannot do such a thing. A man that you call your husband hasn't slept with you in eight months. Eight whole months, Hilda! And you think everything is okay? Really? As I was saying, the other night, I was making sexual moves at him. And Derek, for the first time, had restrictions. He was filled with excuses. He was talking about how there was crazy traffic at the bridge and how he's exhausted. I'm so tired, you have no idea. Ow! My back. Are you seriously resisting me right now? You always wanted this. Stop. Stop. Now I was on that bridge for like almost an hour. I'm just tired. Hey, please, I'm not in the mood, okay? I was on that head bridge for like two hours. <laughs> I need to sleep, please. <coughs> Sorry. But I want you. I'm tired, please. If you ask for my advice, I would say, girlfriend, put your eyes down and uncover what is going on between your nanny and your husband. What is the matter with you? How in the world do you think Derek will condescend so low as to sleep with that thing? That thing, an ordinary nanny. That thing like you call her. Will soon snatch your husband from you if nothing is done about it. Oh Jesus, I don't know how low you see my man, but Derek, in all his finesse, would never ever let himself strip and get naked with that girl. Derek, in all his finesse, would never ever get himself naked with that girl. So cheating is not for ugly guys, Abby. Girl, don't come knocking when it starts to unfold because I 
will remind you. Olivia. Yes, ma'am. Are you sleeping with my husband? Me? No. No. Can you swear before the deadliest deity that you have never, ever gone pants down with my husband? Hey, madam, I can swear. I've never seen August Nikides before. I can swear before any deity just to prove my innocence. If I find out that indeed You've been sleeping with my husband, father of my children, Olivia, on God. I swear you will not believe what will come your way. Hey, and I swear, I have nothing to do with your husband. I have not seen August Nikidness before. If I have ever done that, they don't tell me. Mm. Madam has started suspecting Oga and I already. I have to be careful of my dealings with Oga. Don't look down on anybody. Oh yeah, cause you don't know tomorrow. Oh yeah, you don't know tomorrow. Oh yeah. I have relinquished Olivia of her duties as my children's nanny. Why would you fire her? I mean, why would you want to do that? I am no longer comfortable with her stay in my house. Let me give you a little advice. She does virtually everything in this house. Everything. I don't know how you expect to cope knowing that you are married to your job. I'm married to my job? What do you mean by that? Oh my word, look at his reaction. Didn't you think I was actually right? Look, if you fire her, how, how do you expect to cope? She does everything. I mean, oh, oh wait, oh. you intend to turn me into a babysitter? What is that supposed to mean? Derek. Look, Hilda, I am just tired of you giving me girls, girls in this house. I need a boy. I need a boy. Is that why you condescend so low as to sleep with your children's nanny? What are you telling me? Are you accusing me of infidelity? Really? You know, nothing lasts forever. Derek. So this, this is coming from you? Is that how you talk to your husband? Hilda. Mm. Is that what you is that how you talk to me? My choco below. <laughs> My sugar can. Mm. Why not watermelon? <laughs> I like watermelon better than you can. Oh, you prefer watermelon? Yeah. My watermelon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I know you enjoy working, but you need to stop. And come and give me some food before I go to one and hmm? Food? Mm -hmm. But I thought... <laughs> I thought you've taken your breakfast this morning, oh? Uh, well, I have, but what I'm talking about... Hmm? No, I don't know. You were supposed to be a naughty girl. Are you pretending? Oh, okay. yeah? I want that chocomillo between your chocotito. Oh! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh okay. Now I understand the kind of food you want. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You are just pretending. Uh -huh. I can see that. So let's mm. go. Okay, let's go there. But then, we have to be very careful. What do you mean? Hmm. Your wife is becoming nosy. 
could you believe that the other day she was asking me if I was if I'm actually sleeping with you. And, and, and what do you tell her? I practically denied it. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> you smart. <laughs> you smart. Oh, mm. yeah. Baby, all I'm saying is that since she has started suspecting us, we should take precautions because I cannot afford to put an end to this sweet affair. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Bed now, bed now. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter. It has to be in my room and not your bed anymore. It has to be my own bed. That's fine. Bed now, bed. No bed. Hey, ooh, <laughs> your bed now, no shaking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I need to go to other mm -hmm. channel. What? How many rounds? <sighs> like how many rounds? Uh, this morning. Uh, Oh, I three. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, calm down. Why are you to calm down? My wife has given me three girls in a row. And you're asking me to calm down? No, now. Is there a law that says that female children are not children? No, but three girls. Are they children? Are they not children? Please. Derek, you were all over the place asking me to plead with your wife for you. Even when she said she wasn't going to get married to you, it did not stop you. You didn't get off her back. I want to believe you married her because you loved her. So what is all of this? At the beginning of this marriage, you started complaining and whining about her career, about her inconsistency and all of that when you of all people knew that she was a banker even before you proposed to her. Wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Where is the relation? All that I'm saying, how is that related to what you are saying? All that you are saying, what are you not saying? What is your complaint right now? What are you complaining about? Were you not listening to all that I've been saying? Your point is baseless. Are you serious? My point is baseless? Derek, why do you keep coming to me? Why do you keep running to me each time you have crisis in your marriage? Are you serious? Are you the one saying this? I'm the one saying this, Derek. Let us call a spade a spade for once. Derek, why? 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 Did you run to me when you were busy gallivanting and sleeping with your nanny right on your matrimonial bed? Did you come asking for skills from me? Oh. Oh. You didn't expect me to know that, yes? You thought that would be hidden? Let me tell you, there is nothing hidden on that sun. Oh, yeah. You see the leg that works endlessly? It is the eyes that watches endlessly that will see it. Now I understand why I cannot mingle with your type. Why I just cannot be with your type. Because you won't submit to a man. You just won't. And you think because you're in this house, you're successful and that's it. And that's the reason why you are not married. Derek, if this is your definition, for submission, then to hell with it. To hell with it, Derek. How dare you come to my house to insult me? The house that you will live, be in, remain, and die single. Oh, uh -huh. you think I don't see suitors? Oh, suitors. You think I don't see suitors, Derek? Where them they? Where I them? have quite a handful of them. I don't see And them. if you were a woman, a submissive woman, I would probably share some tips with you. But even if you were a woman, your ego, all of this, would not let you. I'm not a woman. You cannot be. I don't want to be a woman. You cannot be a woman. Get married. Grow some hair. Grow some sex. Carry wig. Carry sense. Carry anything. Put on, in fact, carry some of the eyelash. Put for head. So that the men can see you and like you and propose. Submit. Get married. Because your house will not marry you. Think it's all about being a fine boy? Huh? 
It is men like you that makes me not even give it a thought. I cannot take this nonsense. Oh God, you are a baggage of national crisis. You call me, you raise your hand. Boy child is important, but girl child is a blessing. Who is who the matter? What Mara is ability? What are you talking about? What is it? Have both of you conspired to give me just girls? Derek! What? Answer me! Are you not an evil woman? Do you not know the importance of a male child in every evil family? Are you trying to cut off my lineage? Why? Derek! You are blowing this whole thing way out of proportion. And it's not that deep yet. Okay, so you see nothing wrong with, with what I'm saying. Is that what it is? Huh? <laughs> Derek, I've had a long day. All I want to do now is get in the shower, take a bath, and go be with my babies. I'm, I'm saying something this serious and you are yawning. Look, I need to I'm tired. cut off all your tights with Injirika. Cut it off. What? I'm not kidding. That's my sister. So how is what you're saying going to work? I am saying, do not have any links with her again. Just cut it off. If you disobey me in this house, you will see the other side of me. And you don't want to see that. No, you don't. Because I'm so ready to throw you and your battalion of girls out in the streets. Don't try me. I'm not playing. to arrive school early today. Okay. Her school proprietress has complained several times that Kaima arrived school late. And I wonder what that is about because what do you really do in this house that will make that little girl go to school late? Ma, I'm very sorry. I promise it will not happen again. I'm sorry. sorry. It shouldn't happen again. Because I'm not particularly pleased about that information. Go inside. Open the gate. Have here. Um, toasted bread with um, egg tomato sauce. Oh baby, come on. This has to be for the girls. You don't want stuff like that. I need you to serve me something, you know, that will give me some energy, like pounded yam and bitter leaf soup. Something that will give me energy to mount you. Ah, oh, baby, please. That can wait. Let me just take Kaima to school and come back. You know, whatever it is, you can take up to school after you give it me. Baby, please, no. It can wait. Let me just go and come back. Please. No way. No. Baby, no. No. Baby, please. Your wife warned that Kaima must not go to school today. So can you please allow me to take her to school? I will come back and be with you. 
Yes, please. Olivia, I am the man of this house. Okay? I am the man of this house. I get what I want exactly when I want it. And right now, I want you. And I will get it. Hey, please. Please, don't do it. Come on. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can have you all day. All day. All day. Am I getting another round? Mm -mm. You have to hold on to the one you had already. Let me take Kaima to school. No. Why no? Mm -mm. I don't know what they call the rest of your wife, so you have to hold on, please. No. Why no? Because I want to know. Come in, come in. You have to take Kaima to school. No. Sis, I'm telling you, it has happened. I caught them. I caught them red-handed. I caught Derek pants down with the nanny. I swear I'm not making this up. They are teachers I speak to you. I am not thinking of the possible way to eliminate both of them. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. What are you saying? I just got my husband cheating on me and you asked me to take it lying low. I want. I want. That stupid girl left my daughter unattended to. My daughter ought to be in school, but no, she's not. My daughter sat in the living room. Why the silly angel is. Right there, it's squashing my husband. I'll kill them. Nothing will give me greater joy than to kill them both. Kama's, Kama's friend Richard calls me every time, talking about how Kama's not in school or she arrived late. And then, just when I thought, you know what, just never mind. Never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill them. I'm going to do something very, very, Stupid in response to this bullshit I just saw! You should go in there, pack all your bullshit, and get the hell out of my house. Right now! Madam Hilda, I am not going anywhere without my salary for this month. Simple. Your what? You have the nerve to talk to me about salary? After what you've done? I am not going anywhere without my salary. I just said it. You want me to pay you? Of course. Submission to your husband or to the man in your life isn't slavery at all. Rather, it is the hallmark of a virtuous woman. Get that, girls. Listen, we have to continue to push and never stop until we achieve a world free of competition for men. Being a woman alone is a superpower. I swear. Because the world would have meant nothing 
without the women. Jideka, you need to understand that the man remains the head. But as long as we modern women keep trying to usurp his leadership, marriages will keep.